Hey, 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 welcome to Faces Back, you based to another video. We're on the Crystal Arts community server. How are you all doing? Hopefully you are doing great. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be making, we're going to be making that element, bro. We're going to be making it. Uh, so first of all, we got to go and get the resources. Now, if I can remember where they all are, this would be amazing, but I don't think I do. <laughs> so basically, the first thing that we need is congealed gas, which uh, last episode, at the end of last episode, I chucked one of these. Um, gas collectors there. There's actually quite a few there. Is that an area of glass? I don't know. No, it looks like plants. It's somewhere around here. I do have the coordinates saved, so I might have to go and look them up. But how you all been? Hopefully you've had a good weekend, if you have. Uh, smash the like button. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> so if you didn't know, I asked on my Discord if it's okay if I monetize the channel to try and get more servers up and running. Uh, we agreed that it would be okay. So there the channel is monetized. Hell yeah, we're part of the YouTube Partner Program, which is awesome. And hopefully we get some good stuff for you guys. So, um, oh, is that it? Is it over here somewhere? I recognize this. Maybe not. Oh my god, I'm lost. I'm lost. Where's the gas balls? So hopefully we're going to be able to do some more servers. I'll keep you updated with um, that. I don't know if I'll earn much money, to be fair. But anything that ha if anything that we do get will help. And once again, Patreon is down below if you want to help support the servers. Um, that would be perfect. And we'll do some awesome... I don't know. We'll just do some awesome stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Where the frick am I going? <laughs> uh, give me a sec. I, can't I need to get the coordinates up. I can't remember where it is. Oh my god, is that it? Yeah, boy, that's it. Hell yeah. Badoop. <laughs> Here it is. I knew it was by some crystals. So this is the gas collector. How much did we get? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> 2,000 gas balls. I've left that there for a while. Perfect. <laughs> so you need to get the gas collector. Next, we're going to go over to the Eldridge Isles. I think that's what it's called. Which is the snowy biome over in this direction. Where we're going to have to try and get ourselves some... Of every gem, which is why we've got the Anglio on us in a cryopod, as you can see right here. We've got the Anglio in a cryopod, and we're just going to try and get every gem. We need red, blue, and green. I believe it's 20 of each. And then we need to make some batteries. Oh, this could be the full stop for me. But. Oh, no, that's just cajoled ass metal polymer. Ah, oh, sweet! Okay, we've got loads of that. So then we make a ton of batteries, and we charge up the batteries. In these charge nodes, which then will help convert element ore into element. We need 100 pieces. Uh, so we need, I think it's like 2,000 element ore, I believe. Um, so many charge nodes. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to do the maths. Um, oh, here's that uh, building. That looks pretty cool, actually. I mean, this is... Um, oh, dude. Got, oh, this is so cool. It's such a good idea. <laughs> is anyone on? No one's on. Okay. Well, we're going to keep going. <laughs> and um, I'll be back once we get over to that side of the map, which is just over there. Okay, so we're entering this area. Is it Eldridge? It is Eldridge Isles. Okay, <laughs> so we're entering this area. My question for you today is, what is your favorite crystal wyvern? Mine's the blood. So you got the blood, the tropical, and the ember. Uh, let me know which one's your favorite. I can't remember if I asked that before, but if I have, I apologize. Um, I'm so wary of it. i got to record so many videos today, and I've just not got enough time since I've been back to work to record videos. The chat will slip in and stats, and I'm just crying myself to sleep every night. So first things first, we're going to land the wyvern here. Now, they are liquefied creatures out here, so I really don't want to mess with them. And you get your crystals, uh, sorry, your gems from these little blue ones, which you also get element shards. So this is like a win-win. So if we just hit that real quick, um, there we go. We've got some green crystals. So it's a rare chance to get red. But we're going to use the Anklio. It's going to make life so much easier. And of course, we get electrocuted, which makes things so much harder. So there's 10 green gems. And basically, I just got to do this. You'll always find these blue crystals next to these big-ass crystals. Let me get them up for a little bit for you. So these big crystals that are above us, um, you'll like this red, this big one here, that glow, you'll always find these crystals next to it. Now, um, I need to get the uh, recipe up for how many we need. I'm pretty sure it's 20 per element. And if we need um, 100 element, uh, that's 200 of each gem. No, that's just 10 times. It's 2,000 of each gem. Holy crap, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's, let's not... Yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to carry out back a thousand of each gem back with me. But, I mean, we'll, we'll try and carry as much as we can. At the moment, we got... What, that was another 10. That was another 10. Okay, it's not too bad. Well, I'll keep going. I'll update you in a moment. Okay, so to give you an update, we've just finished our second location. And uh, let me get the transfer tool out. 
I'll transfer all that into there. So our inventory is full on the wyvern, but that's because of this. This is what we're looking at. We've got 300 green, 290 blue, and 370 red. Now, the actual rates that I need, I need 2,000 green, which is, that's a long way off. Uh, we need 1,500 blue and 1,000 red. So, I mean, red's pretty close. Red's the rare one as well. So, we're pretty close with that. Quite far away with that. We also get an element, which is amazing. But I am going to chuck these two just to spare um, some stuff. Oh, actually, do we have some green on us? We have 10 green on us and all that. So, we'll actually chuck that in and drop these two because we want to spare as much as we can. Okay, so I'm going to cryopod this guy and I'm going to go to the next location, which is ever whenever I find another one of these that's easy to get to. So we're back at base, and uh, what I need to do is grab some more stuff. So, oh, right, damn, we got some gems here. Okay, we'll take that with us. We didn't get all the gems. We were quite a few short, actually. We're about one quarter of the way there. But I really cannot be bothered, <laughs> to be honest. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, where did we put all the... All the gems. Not all the gems. The ore. There we go. So we got 2,000 ore, which is 500 weight. Damn. Um, can we just type in ore and drop that? And then all we got to do is get the basic transfer tool. Boop. And then boop. I bet you're like super heavy now. Okay, so we're almost there. I got a few more gems for you as well. And then we need to make some charge nodes. Oh, damn. That took it over the edge. Okay, what I'm going to do is going to halve... I'm going to halve the responsibilities because I haven't got enough weight. And now I'm, like, out of weight again. I'm going to chuck some of this on the floor. And we're going to give it to the snow owl. Can we pick that up again? And then... Uh, I can't reach it. God damn it. Chuck that down. Come on. My life is just, like, trying to pick stuff up that's too heavy for me. You could take that. So, that's that sorted. Now, what we need are the charge batteries, which I think you make here. Charge? No. Is it on us? Charge? No. You? I know you make it somewhere. Charge? There we go. I'm going to make 16 of these if we can. Wait, we need metal ingots. What? Oh, don't say I've used all my metal ingots up. Uh, we do have like a ton of metal ingots lying around somewhere. I just haven't smelted yet. Where are they? We've got 30 odd there. I swear we have more somewhere. Let's chuck them in for now and we'll start, we'll look for some more. Okay, so I've got all the charge nodes. I had to go and get some metal, which sucked. And then we've got to ride over there. So if we, if we jump on this guy, call Snowflake. Oh, maybe I should be riding Snowflake. Hi. Hi. That's so close. See? Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll ride Snowflake because the Wyvern's a little bit heavy. So Wyvern will follow us and we got to go, I think our nearest charge node is just down here. Um, I, I think, if I remember correctly, it's like literally there-ish, or maybe there, or maybe there. <laughs> it's somewhere there. Where we at? What are you doing, Wyvern? They'll be following me. Don't be all slow on my ass. Come on. Oh, you're just really slow. Okay. Okay, so we're here. So what you need to do is you need to get your cajoled gas and your... Oh, am I going to reach that? Of course I'm not. <laughs> need to get all your items... Walk up to the charge node and chuck them in. So, obviously, I've put these charges in there. We've got the element in there. And hopefully, we'll get these in there in a moment. Okay, I'm going to have to take one charge battery out. But I'll wait until it's done. So, basically, what happens is these charge batteries charge over time. As you can see, these are currently charging. Um, you got to get up to 500 charge. <laughs> which, um, it's not going to take too long. Like, literally putting the inventory stuff in there, we got to 100. So, we're looking at about... A minute to two minutes per time for a charge it will take eight of these charge batteries to make one piece of element so here is the element you need blue gems eight charge batteries that are charged congealed gas element ore, green gems power station which we've got and a red gem so we're gonna wait for these to quickly charge and then I'll be back in a moment Okay, so everything's charged up. We're going to click this, and that's going to craft one. We have got these. We might be able to fit another one in before the end here. So it does take a while to craft just the one. Um, and you also have a timer. So once that hits 5,000, there'll be a cooldown, and you have to wait for it to charge to 5,000 again. And then you'll have this timer. I mean, it took me about 20 minutes to get to this stage. Um, I'll try and show you what I mean in a moment. So the battery should be charging. After this is crafted, or it might just end. I don't know what's going to happen. 
So there's our three piece of element. Woo! Then it turns off. <laughs> After three piece of element, it's overcharged. You have to wait five minutes and you have to wait for it to charge back up again. And I have to do this like, uh, what? 30 ish times, 35 times to get 100 element. So you get three element per time, which is good. I didn't realize it was three element. It might be because my rates are a little bit different. So, resource wise, this might be enough. So, I'm going to wait for this to charge back up. We've got five minutes, and then I'll be back in a moment. Right, we are back. It's been about, oh, Jesus. I was doing it about three every 10 minutes. So, it's been about three and a half hours ish. It's been a long time. I didn't use up all my resources, so I just left them all in, even all the charge nodes, all the gems that were left. There were not many gems left. I had all the congealed gas. I left in the charge nodes, so if you're on the server and you want some element, you, you can use some of my resources, because that was a pain in the ass. Um, so basically, what happens is, you have to wait for the charge node. You go, like so you go to the charge node, you click on it, um, and it will create three pieces of element per time, uh, for the cost of whatever the resources were. Then you have to wait five minutes, and then it takes five minutes to charge, or to like charge the, the center back up, and then charge the nodes, like the uh, the uh, batteries back up. So all in all, you're taking about, like I said, uh, it's, it's roughly about 10 to like 13 minutes-ish, just to, just, to, just to get one done, one set of three done. So it might have even been close to four hours, but here we are. 102, oh actually I forgot some congealed gas and one of the charge batteries, but we got 102, um, <laughs> which, yeah, was it worth it? I don't even know. So uh, we can now make the S plus version of this in here. I think we might not actually have enough resources still. So tech, um, I don't think we will. Black pearls, did we get, we did get black pearls, didn't we? We're close to crystal. It's going to be metal. We're not going to have the metal. So we chuck the 100 element in. And then we're going to pull for one of these, and it's going to be metal, so I'm going to have to go on a metal grind. Yeah, 4,900, and 52 crystals, which we did have, but obviously we had to chuck a bunch of them. So, um, oh, do I, I might go on a grind again and try and get 5,000 metal, which, I mean, won't take too long, because I need a bunch of metal for that. So I just go, actually, I'll show you where I'll go. Uh, let's get my, let's get this guy out. So then we need to pick up the Anglios. We've got to turn real badly because these turn mages just suck. Basically over here, there's a ton of metal over this area. There's some by us, but there's a load more over here. So this is one little pocket, but then there is like the wall around here. You see all these down here, you got some down there, you got some over here. This would have been a nice area to build to be fair. You got a nice little waterfall. The only issue is that you do have the blood crystal wyverns here. That's something it's attacking my guy. What are you doing? Okay. There was a true... Oh, damn. True rods. No. Kill the true rods. <laughs> nice one. Nice one, bro. Good stuff. So there's a ton of metal around here. We can get like... What is it? We need 10,000 metal ingots. It's two per metal, isn't it? So there's 300 off one. I mean, it's not going to take long. The, longer, the longest process is going to be smelting it all. Uh, let me just see how much we can get. That's another 250. It is two metal per ingot, isn't it? I don't have my calculations wrong. It's two metal per ingot. I'm pretty sure. If that's the case, we need 10,000. Which, I mean, we're already at 1,100. <laughs> it's not. It's really not going to take that long. Getting metals well easier with these server rates. Uh, God, we've done quite a few. We're on 3,000 right now. I've literally done this section. I've only done the ones in this section and the wall over this place. So, I mean, we're going to have no issues getting the metals. So, I'll see you back at base once we've got all this and we've got the metal sorted. Okay, so it's a lot longer later. Can we now make one? See if there's enough. We should have 5,000 metal. I should have got these stuff. Awesome! So let's pull that. All the hard work. This took like three episodes to get all the stuff for this. And then we have the tech replicator. I just need to change my house. We got a tech replicator before I've even made a freaking... Uh, <laughs> before I'm making like an industrial forge or anything like that. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> I can't even fit this in my base. God damn it. Why did I do this? Uh, let's just... Drop it here for now. I, I honestly don't know where else to put it. Um, and there we go. We have a <laughs> we have a tech replicator. Which, if you're wondering how we're going to pair with that. We've got two element that's left over. Because obviously we had 102. Because it goes up in threes each time. Um, and we should have shards everywhere. Oh, there they are. Okay, I look straight over them. So we've got a total of 8... 
190 shards, which should get us element. So you can make element in Tech Replicator by using shards. Um, so we need 100 shards per one. So we should make another, for the cost of one element, to turn this on, we should get eight back. So we turn that on, and there we go. We're going to get eight back for the price of one. <laughs> which is pretty cool, is it not? So now it's going to be super easy to farm element. I just need to get shards, which you've seen we get from the Eldridge area uh, by killing dinos or just harvesting them from the rocks. So that's really cool. Um, what else can we do? We could craft all this stuff now. We're not even that level and we could craft all this. I, I, pff, I don't even know <laughs> what to say. Um, oh, that's a rail gun. What should we make? I want, an S I want a tech transmitter, but I want the S plus one. What, what level did you get that one? Trans... So we can get the regular one because tech's already unlocked. But if we want the S plus one, I guess I need to, need, need to beat a boss. I'm guessing. I really do not know. Um, how much does all this stuff cost? It's like five element. It's not that bad. Some of this stuff's not that bad. Um, I would like to make a, take, a tech base, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, we don't want tech grenade. We do want a tech generator because that will make stuff last a lot longer. So that's 120 black pills. We need 30 elements and the rest that we can get super easy. I showed you that black pill spot. We should... How many black pills we have left? We collected loads the other episode. Don't say we used all of them. Was that honestly all the black pills that we had? Oh, we might have to go and grind some more then. I think it was. I think we just had enough for a replicator. And then we uh, came back to base because we couldn't carry anymore. Oh, yeah, there they are. 24 we've got left. Okay, yeah, so we need to get some more black pills. That's not too difficult, though, because we actually have dinos that can go down to them depths now because we've got the water dinos. Uh, this is perfect. So we're going to make a tech generator, power the whole base off this. That would be perfect. Um, I need to get a bunch more element, which means I need to go on a grind. And, yeah, basically the rest of this stuff is going to be super easy. Uh, I don't need a tech force sword. It's not PvP. We don't need tech lights. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. We can get a bunch of stuff. I might get these dedicated storage. Oh, damn it. They, they're expensive. Like three element per time. That's really expensive. Uh, but what I'm going to focus on is actually getting the element in. So we just need to get shards, which is really easy to get on this map. Um, and then we're going to just start grinding it out. So I might get the transmitter. I might not. I might wait until we've got the, the S plus one. Yeah, perfect. So there we are, guys. Um, we're going to start getting some elementy stuff. I'm going to upgrade the base a little bit for next episode. I'm going to finish that off next episode. Um, yeah, a, a, lot, a lot's got to happen from my side, building side. So hopefully I'll get that sorted for you soon. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. That's how to get elements on Crystal Isles without beating a boss. Um, it would have been a lot easier to beat a boss. We would have had to beat the boss, what, twice? The Gamma boss to get 50 element per time. But, um, I don't know. Anyways, that's the episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, button, subscribe to the community. I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Peace.